Welcome back, True Believers. The Dream! Back at you live on location in the middle of a quad storm. That's the Bruin. You may ask the Elite Legend. You, what is one of his most anticipated Marvel Legend action figures needing an update from the days of Toy Biz? And he'll tell you nine out of ten times it's going to be Power Man Luke Cage! And... The Iron Fist, baby. I'm talking about that double fist in action. You get those hands are glowing. I know it's a family channel, Ramona. The dream is a little bit passionate about this. So you got these Hasbro individuals over wearing the dashikis. They all about that inclusivity. They all about that diversity. Over at 1027, one of the whitest places on the planet. They got a staff of 99.9% white people, but they got those diversity warriors with their fingernails painted to show them how diverse they are. Like a box of crayons, baby! They waited over 10 years to finally add some much-needed diversity in the form of Luke Cage, and they said, no, baby, we can't make that Luke Cage, baby. It's too racist. He's wearing chains, baby! He's wearing a yellow shirt and black pants. Maybe they might put some little polka dots to make them a little bit more appealing, baby, if you will. But Luke Cage finally being shoehorned into the Marvel Legend line. Never mind that the year 2022 was his 50th anniversary in the Marvel Comics. Never mind that they decided to celebrate the diversity way with Robert Reyes. They figured, okay, we got this Neymar coming out. We go turn him Mexican, put a little bone in his nose, and he go go on tour, dancing the suavemente. Talk about he likes eating the. I know it's a family channel, Ramona. Don't look at me like that. So they decided they wanted to celebrate Robbie Reyes' 50th anniversary. Ghost Rider, if you will. And don't nobody give a shit about Robin Reyes. The dream is more Mexican. Habla more Espanol than Robin Reyes ever would, baby. And that has lab engine a bullshit project failed miserably. They could have acknowledged Lucas Cage the right way with a celebratory box set with Iron Fist and other individuals from that section of the Marvel Universe. But no. We have to wait till Black History Month and pay $24.99 for a figure without paint, for a figure without facial expressions. And if you watch the Netflix series of Luke Cage, then it is fine to have a character without facial expressions because he has no charisma, baby. But we talk about comic book Luke Cage with tons of charisma. Sweet Christmas! Where is the facial expressions? Where are the accessories? Look at that cheap-ass chain around his waist. There is no word as to when Luke Cage will go off a pre-order, but I'm assuming on the March 3rd live stream from the Kendalls and Dwight over at Hasbro. Some more diversity there. Diversity stops at the Asians and the Lesbians over at Hasbro. So maybe we're going to get us some Luke Cage pre-orders on March 3rd. Let me know your predictions for what is going to be coming on March 3rd. Let me know what your thoughts are on this Luke Cage. Do we think we'll get some additional head? Is it going to be that bonus head? And no, you don't need to pull out your pen and paper. The dream keeping it PG for your daddy. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Drop a bionic elbow in the comments. And on that like button, baby. If you like content like this, check out the G.I. Joe Classified Series playlist. Marvel Legends playlist if you're looking for a hero, baby. Check out those thrift haul videos. The Elite Legend of Found Him and McFarlane Spider-Man in the Wild. Scan that QR code if you are on the Instagram and you want to follow the Elite Legend after looking at them BBLs. And join Elite Toy Collectors over on the Facebook Elite Toy Collectors Toy Group. Join if you're not a snowflake like this little bitch right here. And until next time, baby, make mine marvel if you will.